auditing assertions. Before we can start talking auditing assertions, we'll just first have to take a step back and understand the purpose of financial statements. As you may be aware, directors of a company are responsible to run the company on behalf of the shareholders. Legislation then typically requires them to report back to the shareholders on an annual basis how they have performed. That in a nutshell is financial statements. Do you then see that the financial statements tell us a story about what happened to a firm for a specific period under review? Now when we come and audit, we have to assert whether or not that story or the financial statements fairly represents what happened in reality. This is where we start talking about assertions. The main necessity for conducting the audit of financial statements stems from the fact that the person or people responsible for the preparation of the financial statements are often different from the owners of such corporations. Financial statements are the main source of accountability of management performance by the shareholders. However, as management is responsible for the preparation, shareholders have to rely on external verification, typically by auditors, in order to gain reasonable assurance that the accounts are free from material misstatement and can therefore be relied upon to be presenting true and fair view of the affairs of the company. Financial audit is intended to provide reasonable assurance over the accuracy of financial statements. It therefore does not provide absolute assurance that the financial statements are free of all material misstatement. Assertions or management assertions in order to auditing simply means what management claims. For example, if management state that sales were a certain value, then it is a claim or an assertion made by management that that value was achieved. Similarly, it is the primary responsibility of management of the entity to prepare financial statements in which all the assets, liabilities, income and expenses are recognized, measured, presented and disclosed in accordance with the applicable financial reporting framework. For example, IFRS or even IFRS for SF or IFRS for SMEs. In other words, it is the responsibility of management to prepare such financial statements that give a true and fair view of the business. When such financial statements are prepared, published and made available to the users, it means that management has taken care of recognizing and measuring the information that has been presented and disclosed so that the financial statements do in fact give a true and fair view of the business. The claims of which management are automatically understood as a result of publication of financial statements are known as management assertions. As an example, when an investor holds published financial statements in his hands and look at the inventory with its monetary value given against it, then it relies on such value because he assumes that as it is the responsibility of management to prepare true and, true and fair view, management has done the correct valuation of the year-end inventory. And by publishing the financial statements, management has made the assertion that the value of inventory is correct. This is management assertions, or simply assertions. Assertions and the International Standards on Auditing, typically found in ISA 315. ISA 315 points out that in preparing financial statements, make direct or indirect assertion regarding the recognition, measurement, presentation, and disclosure of elements of the financial statements. If these assertions are correct, then financial statements will automatically be reliable. It recognizes three different categories which are classified as follows. Firstly, assertions about classes of transactions and events. This typically impacts your statement of comprehensive income or income statement. First assertion, occurrence, meaning Transactions and events so recorded in the financial statements actually occurred and relates to the same period. Completeness. All such transactions and events that require recording have been recorded. Accuracy. Transactions and ancillary information have been recorded with accurate amounts. Cutoff. Only those transactions and events that have been recorded that pertain to the accounting period under consideration. Classification. Transactions and events have been recorded in the related accounts properly. The next group of assertions all relate 
to assertions that impact account balances or the balance sheet or the statement of financial position at a period end. Existence. All the assets, liabilities and other interests that appear in the financial statements actually exists. Rights and obligations. The assets presented in the financial statements are actually assets for which the entity holds the ownership, right or has all the necessary controls to, to the rights of use of the asset. Similarly, the liabilities recorded are actually the obligations of the entity. Completeness. All the assets, interests and obligation of the entity that required recording have been recorded in the financial statements. Valuation and allocation. All the assets, obligations and equity interests have been valued appropriately and if any allocation was needed, that it has been done already. The third group of assertions relate to presentation and disclosure. Firstly, occurrence and rights and obligations. Transactions, events and the related or other matters disclosed in the financial statements actually occurred. Completeness, all the necessary disclosures that require have been recorded. Classification and understandability. Financial information in the financial statements has been presented appropriately with clear expression of disclosures to the extent of possible uh, to the extent possible to help users of the financial statements. And then lastly, accuracy and valuation. Financial or non-financial information is disclosed in the financial statements fairly. This explains the assertions and their applicability to the audit. Once we delve into specific sections, we will unpack this in more detail.